All right, so I figured since I don't edit my videos anyway, <laughs> and so y'all don't have to wait super long, I was just gonna give a quick follow-up on Rougette Blanc by Jean Rome and the performance. Uh, I figured this would be a lot easier just to do it this way. Um, so this lasted on me greater the part of the day, I would say probably around seven hours at least. Uh, however, after the first two, it sits very close. You do pick it up. It's just, it's not, it's not as strong as something like Peaceful Night by Genre or Bergamot Imperial. It definitely sits closer to the skin. Again, it stays relatively linear throughout. Um, as the initial opening, there's a ton of ambergris. That Ambroxan Blast really hits you in the face. It starts to kind of fade a little bit into the dry down. You get more of the apple, more of the melon. It sweetens up as well. You get some of that sweetness. And then it kind of just is this like fruity Ambroxan you know, style fragrance. Um, throughout the remainder of it, but again, it just starts getting a lot closer to the skin. Anyway, I really did enjoy it. Um, it's unisex. I definitely think men and women can both wear this. However, the ambergris might be too much for um, some people, especially some females might not like it. I might find it to be a little strong, but uh, I did really enjoy it. I am certainly glad I picked this up. It's definitely unique. Um, again, though, you gotta like melon. That's the most prominent of the fruits. Apple, second most prominent and there is a lot of ambergris in the beginning. So, and it, it, it's throughout there. Again, it's just kind of, you're gonna get this spicy, embroxin, uh, fruity style fragrance is really what it is. You get the sweetness from the fruits, but then the embroxin kind of helps balance it out so it's not overly sweet or overly feminine. You certainly wear this out in the heat. Um, it could be, if you went crazy with the sprays though, become cloying. So anyway, that's my review. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. I'll give you an update. I think I'm just gonna start doing this stuff with follow-up videos at least, and maybe just like quick initial impressions on stuff that I don't have time to shoot a whole video for. Uh, since now I do have the, the channel or the page to do this um, and give you all better follow-ups and quicker, you know, quicker kind of content while I'm uh, half done.